gloves, camera, action. Thomas Nelson is playing copycat, a unique and fun way to learn sign language. Let's see what the tutor says to say. The cat is under the chair. Thomas was two when doctors determined he was profoundly deaf. My first thought when I found out he was deaf was I was never going to hear my son tell me that he loved me. And added a dozen eggs. Cheryl immediately started to learn sign language, but it's not easy. Studies show as many as 75% of hearing parents of deaf children never become fluent signers. So that means only 25% of the kids are really getting good sign language at home. They're so behind in learning the language that they're not really learning the lessons in school. With support from the National Science Foundation, computer scientist Thad Starner and his team at the Georgia Institute of Technology are developing interactive tools like Copycat to make sign language easier to learn for both the deaf and the hearing communities. For example, this cell phone app called Smart Sign helps hearing people who get stuck on a word. Careless. And it gives you the sign. Spoiled. Having it on your cell phone, wow, that's a huge help. More. Even though his son can hear, like you want more? Starner's colleague Jeff Wilson started teaching Wyatt simple signs months before he could talk. Whenever we gave Wyatt a, a bottle of milk, we would do this sign, which is the American Sign Language sign for milk. Eventually, he would start doing it without any prompting. So instead of crying for his bottle, he more? signs. Good job. Copycat is primarily being developed for classrooms. Thomas wears gloves with motion sensors. A camera tracks his movements. When he signs correctly, he earns points and moves to the next challenge. Children have to help Iris the cat find where these evil monsters have stolen, you know, their gems or the pumpkins or whatever. Starner's team is also putting captions on cartoons so the deaf community can finally get in on the nuances and the jokes. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.